What's up guys and welcome to another Blender Quick Tip. Today I'm actually going to be following up from a previous tutorial I made showing you how to rate an object around a circle like this. The reason why I'm redoing this is because I was getting a lot of requests on my tutorial on how to do this without the object actually deforming. Uh, so for example as you can see in this, if you look at this, this should be a cube and you can kind of see the way the cube actually deforms as it goes around the circle. Uh, now this can be useful in some situations but Obviously, sometimes you want the object to not deform. So in order to do this, you actually have to use a completely different method, which I'm going to show you now. We just hit A and X. I'm just going to delete everything in the scene. We're going to start fresh. So let's insert a cube. So hit Shift A, add a cube. And you can see that looks different to how it was before. There's no deform on this. It's just a normal cube. Move the cube to where you want the arrangement to be. We'll say G, Y, A. Put the cube there. Now in order for this to work, you actually need to set the origin point of the object to the center of your viewport where the 3D cursor is. So in order to do that, just right click on the cube, go to set origin, set origin to 3D cursor, or alternatively, you can find it here, object, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. Now you can see that orange dot has moved from the cube to over here. And now when you start to rotate the object, it should rotate around the origin point. And this is how we're gonna guide the arraignment of our cube. Now next step, we need to add an empty to actually guide the arraignment. So I'm gonna hit shift A, add an empty and we'll add a plane axis. Now click on your cube, go to the modifier section. We're gonna add a modifier and we're gonna add that array modifier. Now what the array modifier does is it allows you to duplicate the object using a simple interface here. So as you can see, we can pump the count up, set that to whatever you want. I'm gonna say eight. And this relative offset here allows you to set the spacing in between the duplications but we're not actually gonna use this for this technique. So I want you to uncheck that and you actually wanna select object offset here and just expand this window now and on object, just click here and just assign it to that empty that you just created. And that's gonna allow this empty to control the arraignment. So now if you click on your empty, all you have to do is come to the location settings here and just rotate it on the Z axis. And as you can see, that is controlling the actual offset in between the arraignments of the object. And you can see, if we go into top view, now we have no deform on the mesh. And you just pump that up till you get an even spacing, we'll say about there. And if you're looking for symmetry, the best way to do this is to look at your top cube and your bottom cube. Just hold shift while you're adjusting that and make sure it perfectly aligns with the y-axis. And there you have it, you have an arraignment of cubes without any mesh to form. So while I've got you here, I'm just gonna go over a few issues that you might run into and how to resolve them. So if you're getting an arraignment like this and it's not arraying properly, you need to make sure that your scaling of your object is either applied or set to one. So for example, if you hit S and then scale it up, it's gonna really affect the way the array modifier works. So in order to fix that, let's say you want the cubes to be bigger, you can just scale them up and then all you have to do is hit Control A and apply all transforms and that should fix that. Or alternatively, you can go into edit mode by hitting tab and just make sure you always scale in edit mode and that should fix that for you. Right, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the quick tip. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me grow the channel. And like I said before, this one was actually requested in the comments. So I do encourage you guys to jump in the comments and just let me know what you wanna see or if you're stuck on something, I'm happy to help you out. But yeah, I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching.